episode number two of No Money Spent underway, going into Unlimited with our brand new Dark Matter, Steve Nash. Let's get it. I figured I might as well actually record these uh, games though, because I mean, we're obviously playing for the No Money Spent account, so we might as well just start recording the games for, uh, you know, Steve Nash. First game was actually pretty good. Ben Simmons did go ahead and carry us. He actually had like 12 points, six rebounds, and like two steals against a full Dark Matter team. So hoping we can kind of pick up another nice little win like that. That would be really good. Going up against another uh, pretty good team here though. I do see Kevin Durant. I see Bill Russell. And I do see... I don't know who that is. I don't know where Ben went. I guess that was on me because I, I apparently was on him. I thought I was on somebody else, but it's all good. So yeah, we're gonna we're trying to do, you know, we're trying to get, oh, that's Mel Daniels. We're trying to get the points with this Clem Haskins. Not really the best of card to use for this, but I mean, I'll still take him, man. He is knocking down shots and stuff. So as long as he can keep doing that, we'll be fine. Let's go, big shot from Clem Haskins right there, man. I needed that so badly, come on. Come on, good defense. We're here, come on, no. Man, I, okay, I thought Devin Vassell was going to step up. He just let him blow right by. But, okay, honestly, like I said, we do need to get three wins in here. But right now, my main focus is just getting the points with uh, this Clem Haskins. Because the first game, we did pick up a nice win. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, honestly, I do kind of want the wins more than I actually want the points. I don't know. I'm kind of going back and forth on what I do want. Like, on oh, that one hurt. Let's go, Ben. Good cut and a good jam. Let's go. Come on. We're up by two right now, and this is definitely going to be like one of the more uh, frustrating games that we're going to play today because my players are definitely playing like, you know, Amethyst and, uh, you know, why well, I don't even want to say Pink Diamonds because Ben's playing fine. It's just these other guys that uh, they're, they're just struggling. See, like, that's what I mean. Like, why are you jumping at that? Let's go. Good defense. Stay with him. Come on. Yeah, we're here. Let's go. Clem wide open. I cannot green with this man. He is going to knock it down, though. That is a big three that we needed right there. All right, come on. Good defense. Stick with him. See Clem playing that lane. Let's go. Good defense. Come on. I'm here. Let's go. We're on ball on that all day. Come on. Yeah, we're right there too. Come on. Boards. All right, Clem. I see you. Mm, that, was, that was almost a really bad pass. Let's go. Ben. Big greens in the corner from Ben Simmons, man. Come on. Let's go. That's such a huge green right there. Picking up another win. So now we're actually two for two in triple the online playing with a really interesting budget team and that is back-to-back -back games where we are basically going up against full dark matter and opal teams the first one was a full dark matter team this one was two dark matters and an opal but we're picking up back-to-back -back wins and again the squad we are using is really not all that good but we are on our way to getting steve nash you guys saw we did actually end up playing the unlimited game in the first episode of this series and we are definitely making our way to our first dark matter on the team 250 mt i will take it because we are definitely needing our mt now one thing in the last episode that i do uh i guess i, I don't know if i'm gonna talk about in the intro or whatever to this uh is the anthony simons he did not sell and now he is only going for around 5k so still working my way up there so right now we do need 17 more points and one more win and we will actually uh be one step closer to getting our steve nash Thank you. Big greens right there. I will gladly take that. Like I was just telling my chat, we're probably not going to win this game, which is fine. I'm just really just trying to get some points with Clem Haskins here. Because, like, that's, that, like, literally that is the type of game we are playing. Like, I just, I literally, it's just one of those, t like, triple threat games where it's just not going to go my way. Which is all good, you know? It'd be like that. Let's go. Big greens right there again, man. Like I said, I know we're not going to win this game. But we did get a majority of the points that we did need with Clem Haskins. We actually needed, um... Uh, we needed 19 or we needed 17 of them and we did get a huge chunk here with them as can we hit that big greens again man so that's actually going to seal the deal with the points with this card i mean if we could win this game that'd be cool but i mean i was primarily just trying to get the uh i was just trying to get the points with him let's go oh my god another big block holy hell man we're gonna go all the way with ben simmons jam that down man 20 to 19 so we actually were able to come back into this game man which is absolutely insane. He actually just threw that right at me too. We should have been able to steal that, which would have been kind of crazy, but I, I still don't think we're going to win this game. So I'm not really going to get my hopes up too, too much, but this is actually kind of wild that uh, we were able to kind of come back into this game. We're going to go all the way, slam it down with Clem Haskins. And that's actually going to do it for our points. So again, at this point, man, we just, if we can get one stop, this could actually be another win for us. And that's going to go in. Oh, man, we, he misses. That is crazy. Come on, let's go push this out. I see Clem in the corner. Can he actually finish it for us? Ah, uh, and we win. We actually won this game. We were down by a very good margin. I mean, we were, uh, we were down by 10 in this game, and we actually come back and win for our third win and all of our points 
with Clem Haskins, man. That was actually a pretty, uh, yeah, he, he threw that game away pretty hard. I mean, I told you guys, you guys saw some of the stuff that was happening and we were actually able to come back and win, which is really cool. Probably nothing on our board. I mean, we got a Dana Boros, which I mean, whatever. If we get him, cool. I'm not really worried about it too, too much though. So whatever. Did we snipe him? What, what's going on? And we did. We actually get a DeAndre Ayton snipe. Okay, that is good. I will take that. We're going to be able to flip this DeAndre Ayton for like 4K too, which is pretty cool. I will gladly take that. And we're going to scoop him up here for our challenge. Now, what we have to do, like I said, is hop into a challenge game. And we're going to actually hop into one of these 50 point ones here. Um, I don't actually have to complete the challenge, which is good. I don't want to do that one. That one's just going to annoy the living hell out of me. So I think I'm going to do this dunks one here. We're going to go ahead with Clem Haskins and we are going to go ahead and uh, do, uh, what's it called? We're going to go ahead and throw DeAndre Ayton in the mix as well. Kind of hope we get some good rebounds here. So at this point, we don't even need to win the game. We just need to hit eight threes with Clem and grab 13 boards between these two. I do, I don't have another Suns player or I would uh, throw him in. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and take Ben out because I feel like Ben is gonna get a lot of rebounds for us and we definitely don't want that. So let's go ahead and throw in, uh, let's go ahead and throw on Lodor. At least we'll get some more defense if we really wanted to win the game anyway. Like I'm, I'm trying to miss still on purpose and it just goes in. I don't know what to say, bro. I don't know what to say. I thought I thought it was just my man Clem Haskins just being different, but nah, this game is just different right now. If it's on pro, this game is really different. That'll do it though. Let's go. No, nope. back to him. Sure. Well, you know, we'll shoot another. Oh, now you want to miss? Yeah, yeah, I got you. See now, though, this is one of them challenges where because the game knew I needed rebounds, oh, it was doing everything in its power to prevent me from getting these rebounds. You guys should have seen some of the shots I was hitting, like literally, like that shot that you guys just watched me hit, like that's literally all game. But there we go, final Kareen with Clem Haskins. We are done, got the rebounds, got the threes, and now our very first Dark Matter on the team is officially here, man. So Dark Matter, Steve Nash, the first Dark Matter on the No Money Spent squad is here i will gladly take that man oh my god i can't believe that step back three just went in there like i said that was literally what was going on man but boom dark matter steve nash we're gonna go ahead and pop this open here in just a second we do have all these different packs so we did get jamario or i think it's jamario moon something like that from uh what's it called we got him from triple threat offline obviously one of the beginning of the year rewards not really you know anything special but he might come in handy we might need a raptors player somewhere down the line we do have off ball pest this is probably the biggest W out of them all is us getting five gold contracts because we are definitely going to need those. We do have a slasher pack. Again, we did level up just from playing the challenges. Obviously, there is XP involved and we get a free diamond shoe and it is a three point shoe, man. Massive W. I will gladly take that. We do get a free league pack for completing TTL online and it is going to be Sapphire Sabonis. So Pretty cool stuff there. We do get a deluxe heat check pack. Again, same thing from leveling up. So again, I will take that. Can it be a Suns player? And it is Donovan Mitchell. Actually, you, know, you never know when we're gonna need Donovan Mitchell. But right here, ready? Three, two, one. Ah, there we go, man. Dark Matter, Steve Nash on the team. Finally, finally have a Dark Matter. That's it. Just finally got a nice little Dark Matter on the squad, man. Just take a look. This is gonna look beautiful. I mean, I'm just saying the first dark matter being added to the no money spent team. I will gladly take that. And it's going to be Steve Nash. Now, again, Steve Nash is by far, you know, not one of the better, you know, best cards in the game, but he's going to be fun to use. You know why? Because this is the no money spent vibes. This is what we do. Now, this is the prop, right? Because now, now we got a log jam already. Like now, since we got this Ginobili right away, like we got, we got to put Nash in the starting five. You know what I'm saying? Like Nash, I mean, Ginobili could take his rightful spot off the bench. But now nah, I don't know what we do. I, I think, I honestly, I know it's going to look weird, but I think we rock a lineup like this. Icons are going to be super messed up for me running a lineup like this, but I think we're going to have to do it, which means that my man, I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't know about, I, I think we're going to just get rid of Larry Bird because I, I like Ronda Hollis Jefferson a lot. So I think this is what the squad is going to be looking like. James is good, but yeah, I'm excited, man. First dark matter on the team. That's a Nash three. Get it started off right, man. Look at my man, Steve Nash, knocking out a huge corner three to start this game off, man. Let's go. Come on, we're going to have to play off them Zion tendencies because they are not good. Let's go. That is great defense to start this game off, man. Fight for the board. Oh, man, that got leaked. 
Oh, let's go, Ben. Let's go. Good steal. Keep running. Let's go all the way. Hey, good jam in the paint, man. Come on. There we go. Nice little jam down low. All right, we're going to have to start swarming this game. This is a game where I want a swarming on the defensive end. Or, or just, you know, leave a DeRozan wide open for a corner three. That's that's the same thing. I mean, that's cool. Let's go. Wide open. Corner three. I will gladly take that. I think that was my man. Oh, Kiki. Big shot right there. Back-to-back -back whites. We are definitely going to need them again. Going up against a lot of these big, you know, powerhouse teams. We are going to need a lot of these whites to drop. Huge dunk right there for his Zion. We might even actually have to switch some matchups around because my man, uh, my man Nash is going to definitely struggle to go up against Zion. Look at Nash all the way, just slamming it on Ben, or not on Ben Simmons, right on top of Ball Ball, man. What am I seeing? Let's go, Kiki, all the way, baby. Slam that down again in the paint. Let's go, man. We are off to a great start. I might even actually put uh roco on zion the reason why is because i feel like zion is actually going to be you know he's going to be able to get boxed up but i do like roco being on bow bowl that is one matchup i like to play on let's go good board from nash right here we're going to push this tempo out man let's see who we can find i see my man vassell in the corner wide open for three give me that man another big shot let's go Let's go, Ben, all the way, slamming it down. He is going to try to press up on Ben. That is probably the last person on this team he should look to press up against. Oh, I was really hoping he was going to throw that because Nash was right there. That's actually a good foul. I tried to click on the Nash. I was a little bit late, so that did actually save us uh, giving up a wide open dunk. Now, when my bench unit comes in, I am going to be a little bit nervous because, again, our defense is so good right now. I, I don't even know what to say. This Nash is so glitchy. Like We're up 19 to 7 right now against this team, and we are just playing so well. Like We just need to continue doing this. That is great defense right there. Again, you are not open, sir. That is beautiful defense. Again, good rebound from Roko. Let's go push this ball out. All right, we're going to find Nash. All right, we could shoot that, but we're not going to. We're going we're gonna to take this slow. Okay, I literally was protect dribbling for a reason, but it's all good. And I guess protect dribbling doesn't really matter in this game. No, man. Okay, we cannot do that. We cannot be clicking the wrong icons. That is going to be the thing that, you know, prevents us from winning this game. Big three right here from Vassell. All right, that's our first miss. Can't be too mad. The good news is this Nuggets playbook is actually going to give us this five out that we need. So that's going to work. Look at Okiki in the corner, man. I told you guys in that first episode when I did pick up Okiki and I did pick up Vassell that these two guys are going to be snipers from three. This is what I mean, man. They are so good that this is what we just need to see on this team. And we need that consistent three-point shooting from the perimeter. All right, let's go. Tap it back. Go behind the back. All right, patience. Let's not turn this ball over, man. We got an 11-point lead. We got to hang on to it. We got or we got sharp takeover from so many people. Roko banging it home in the corner. Now we're starting in the green, man. Come on. That was a bad shot. That was such a bad shot. Look at Ben. Big rebounds. Jamming it down in the paint, man. Come on. We are playing very good right now. We almost, like, have team takeover. Like, I almost want to say... Oh, I was going to say. I almost want to say we do. We actually don't yet. Vassell is the only one without takeover. But we are lighting it up from everywhere. Nash has sharp. Okiki's got sharp. Roko's got lock. Like, we are playing very good right now. We might actually even switch this matchup, like I said. One more pass. Look at Roko. Easy layup. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, man. I, now he's playing frustrated. This is what we need. We're getting our stops like we need to. Now, I do have to take Zion out the game. Or, uh, I do have to take Nash out the game, which is actually okay because we are going to be bringing in Zion or uh, Manu Ginobili, which is perfectly fine with me. I'm actually going to do a timeout. Or I'm going to call a timeout. I said do a timeout. Like, I'm going to call. They just left him wide open. They literally just, like, separated to just let him shoot that. That's really frustrating that they just let him do that. Because I really thought my man Roko was going to step up. Even with lock takeover, I feel like he should have played that. He's going to actually get the ball to start, too, which is why that is a little annoying. So we're going to go ahead and get Ginobili in here. Actually, we're going to put Zion there. We're going to go ahead and put Ginobili there. All right, we got to get a big stop here, man. Look at Roko. He's going to play that lockdown defense as we just leave him wide open. Let's go. That's beautiful defense again, man. Board from Okiki works for me, man. Come on. Let's go. Good crossover. We're pushing this out, man. Crab him a little bit. Okiki is a sniper, man. Like I told you, this man is knocked down, man. Best, one of the best budget cards in the game. Look at Roko with a nice little steal or assisting on a nice steal. I see you in that corner. Roko, give me another green, baby. Come on. I'm right there. That is all me right there. I think he just quit. I'm not even gonna lie. I think that steal just made him quit. Let's go. We got, nope, never mind. He did not quit yet. 
Ben, can you cut for me, please? Like, you literally have an entire paint to yourself, bro. I'll take an easy layup right there. We are balling, and we get a rage quit, man. That is the way to start off the no money spent series man like i'm telling you guys episode one was kind of just like a filler episode to see if you guys wanted this series to continue you guys already know the deal man kill like button if you guys do want this series to continue man absolutely insane if we can get like a kevin herter out of this this would be pretty cool we get bruno fernando one of his teammates go figure but yeah this is actually a crazy start man that game was really good we played very good and that is definitely what i like to see so we're gonna go ahead and throw him up here We'll probably throw him up for like 5k, see if he does sell. If not, it is what it is. But yeah, man, let me know if you guys do enjoy the series. Be sure to kill like button if you guys do. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And okay, we're actually prop. You know what? I'm going to save this for the next video. So yeah, peace.